Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Soldier Knows Best here. Now, you know, I recently purchased the Apple LED Cinema Display. Now, I'm using it as a dual monitor setup with my iMac. So, I got some questions about how you can actually customize and make some options to your dual monitor or multi monitor uh, setup with the Mac. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you a few uh, quick tips here about that. Uh, so, go ahead and hit the Apple button, go to the system preferences here. And under the hardware section, just choose displays. And once you click on displays, what it's going to do is going to bring up two menus. All right, one menu on each each screen. So in my case, this is the menu for me customizing my cinema display. And I'm gonna drag over the menu from my iMac. And this menu is used for um, customizing whatever I want to customize on my iMac screen. So you can have the resolutions, you can have the color, you can have the brightness totally different on each monitor, or you can have them the same. And this would be the easiest way to uh, get everything the same because you see everything at once. I'm going to drag that back over to my iMac screen. But say you're working on this one monitor and you want to get that window back over here instead of dragging it, you can hit the Gather Windows button and it'll bring that, that uh, window automatically over. So to make it a little bit easier as far as moving windows from one monitor over to the other monitor. Um, and so you also choose to display this in the menu bar as well. This is kind of quick, fast, and easy way to get to these options. And once you do this, you can detect displays. And just in case you add a display after your Mac is already on, it doesn't automatically detect it. You can do that. Also, you can turn on mirroring, which will turn your both of your monitors into one monitor. So say it's probably good for a presentation. I'm working on on my cinema display. I'm doing something, and I want to show the class. I want to show somebody else what I'm doing. I can turn my other monitor around, turn on mirroring, and any, they'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing on my display on that display there. So that's pretty good. So it turns it pretty much one big monitor showing the same exact thing. You can change the resolutions and all that good stuff. But I think the, the question I really got a lot is how can I make my cinema display my primary display? And you do that, you'll go to the arrangement section here. And what you see here on the left here is my cinema display. On the right here is my iMac display. Now, the first thing is that if you got your um, cinema display on the left hand side of your iMac, um, you want to make sure you come in here to make sure this is your cinema display is actually on your left hand side. This is going to help with your mouse orientation. Now, for some reason, you move your the cinema display to the right hand side of your iMac. You just want to click and drag this over, drop it, and then it'll refresh. And now when you move your mouse to the right side of your uh, iMac screen, it'll go to the cinema display. All right. So I'm going to move this back over to the way I got it here. Now, I want to make my cinema display. Well, right now, let me say this. Right now, my cinema display is my primary display. So I have my dock and my menu bar on this one. So it's kind of like my, it's, it's really my iMac without the, the iMac. I don't know how that sounds. But anyway, if I want to make my iMac back to my primary display, just click this little white bar here. This represents your menu bar. And drag it over and drop it on the iMac here. And once you drag and drop it, it will refresh. And now my dock and my menu bar is on my um, iMac screen. So I'm going to bring it back over to my cinema display, drop it, and boom, there it is. Um, you can also, so that's pretty much the two big questions I've been getting, and that pretty much answers it right there. Also, you can go to the color and change the color and calibrate the colors for each screen. So you can get into all that, all that good stuff there. And so definitely this is some good stuff, especially if you want to get a little bit more advanced. This is where you can go through and mess with the colors and the gamma, all that good stuff. Um, but I think that's about it. So that's really working with multiple um, displays here uh, on the Mac OS 10. If you have any other tips or hints, leave a comment under this video. Thanks for watching. It's been Soldier Knows Best, and I'll catch you later. Peace.